Yo, Chicken Nuggets, it's me, your favorite messenger, Carl. Welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Carl. Where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome to Grow TV. Well, 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 look who decided to show up. I was taking a break from my route until y'all showed up. So now that you're finally here, I can... <coughs> oh, sorry. I thought I had a hole in the bottom of my bag and all my mail fell out. <coughs> my bag does actually have a hole in it and all my mail's missing. Oh no, what am I gonna do? How am I gonna explain this? This is awful. Whoa, 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 Carl, is everything okay out here? It sounds like there's a child in distress. Did you hear that? Excuse me? I was just inside when I heard someone shrieking. Does someone need help? Did you see where she went? Um, no, I'm not sure where that came from. But look, here. Hey Carl, uh, your bag has a hole in it. Well, yeah, I know that. I'm freaking out because all my mail's gone. It fell out and now everyone's gonna be missing their mail. All right, let's take a deep breath. Oh yeah, you're right. Let's just take a deep breath. <sighs> wow, Andrew, that really worked. Okay, well, there's no reason to yell. No reasons to yell? Believe me, Andrew, out of all the reasons to yell, losing hundreds of pieces of personal mail, I think that gives me the right to raise my voice. Okay, all I'm saying is it's not gonna fix the situation if we keep panicking. Who's panicking? I'm not panicking. Are you panicking? <laughs> sure, I'm panicking. Now, when did you last have all the mail? Oh, retrace my steps. That's actually kind of smart. Let's think. I had them when I left my house. Okay. I had them when I visited Mrs. Butterscotchin. She gave me a jar of pickled potatoes. That's unexpected. Then I had them when I dropped off the letters to Mr. Montgomery's house. Then I had to run out of there. Why's that? Oh, his dog chases me. His dog got off the leash and chased me through the front yard. He would have torn me up if I didn't get over that big fence. Interesting. Was the, was the top of the fence sharp? You know, now that you mention it, it kind of was. Wait, you don't think... Could the mail have come out while you were jumping the fence? It had to have. That fence must have torn a hole in my back, and now it's with that slimy dog! Fiddlesticks! I'm ruined! Now I'm gonna lose my job, Andrew. Well, don't get too worked up. You never know what could happen. Really, Andrew? You think the mail just landed in the yard and the dog didn't tear it up like a little just shreds like it usually does? He probably stacked them all nice and he's probably on his way to deliver them to me, huh? I mean, it could happen. <laughs> yeah, right. Like anything like that has ever happened. Well, believe it or not, crazier stuff has happened. Really? Like when? Well, do you remember the story of Tabitha in the Bible? Uh, of course I know the story about Tabitha. What about her? Okay, well, as you know, Carl, Tabitha was a follower of Jesus. She loved God very much, and she always helped others, especially those who were sick and poor. So Tabitha was a very good person. Very, but one day she got very sick. So sick that she actually ended up dying. It was truly an awful thing. And of course, it made everyone who loved her extremely sad. Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you. I was not very familiar with the story of Tabitha. Well, this is not how I wanted the story to end. Just wait. Now the word got out that the disciple Peter, you remember the disciple Peter, right, Carl? <laughs> of course. He was one of the original disciples to Jesus. He even walked on water with Jesus. Peter's great. Exactly. Well, they found out Peter was nearby and they sent two men to go get Peter and bring him back. Why'd they need Peter? Well, I think they were hoping for a miracle. Really? What happened next? Peter walked into the house where Tabitha was and people were surrounding him and they were all crying. <laughs> They ain't the only ones. It was then that Peter sent them out of the room. He got down on his knees and then he began to pray. Oh snap, things are getting real. Peter turned toward Tabitha and said, Tabitha, get up. Wait, isn't Tabitha dead? Yes, but we know God is a God of miracles, right? Right. So Tabitha opened her eyes, looked at Peter and stood up. Tabitha was alive. Are you kidding? Hallelujah, did her friends see her? They sure did. Peter called them in and everyone got to see what God did through Peter. That is the coolest story ever. I mean, God can do anything. Absolutely. And what I love most about this story is what happened next. Can you guess? Well, if it were me, I'd probably tell everyone I know what happened. Bingo. That's it. That's exactly what they did. Really? Really. Everyone was so blown away that they couldn't help but go and tell everyone in the city. How cool is that? I mean, that's probably something we should all do as well. What do you mean? I mean, it's like if God does something really cool in our life, like forgive us, making us feel better, teaching us something, we should tell others so they can get excited about God too. You know, Carl, I think that's a great point. Hey everyone, it's 
so awesome to see each and every one of you. Today's big idea is, I'm, I'm sorry kids, is, is there a dog around here somewhere? No way! What? What is it, Carl? The dog that chased me earlier. It's back with all the letters. Look! Are you kidding? That's incredible! Right? Like some sort of miracle. Wait, this letter's for you, Jada. Oh, what does it say? It says today's big idea is we can share the stories of God's miracles. Perfect! So let's say it out loud on the count of three. One, two, three. We can share the stories of God's miracles. Great job, everyone. Now, Carl. Yeah, Jada? Are you going to go share what just happened to you with all your friends now? You bet I am, but first I need a peanut butter pickle sandwich. My ma! <laughs> Classic Carl. Well, kids, thanks for watching, and make sure to tune in next week to Grill TV. See you later. Thank you for watching, and tune in next week for a new episode of Grill TV.